One Mississippi woman says she lost her daughter to a drunk driver two years ago. Yolanda Bowles says that's why she helps MHP spread the word about their home drunk home driving crackdown. And a drunk driver hit and killed her. She was killed instantly. No, she wasn't. She died later at the hospital. But she fought. I found that out. She fought. She fought real hard. That's just one reason why all branches of law enforcement will be out checking for drunk drivers on the roadways. It's part of their drive sober or get pulled over campaign. It's time to make a stand, to make laws. If you enforce them, enforce them. You don't have no second chances. We don't get them. So why are you going to give a drunk driver a second chance? You can't drive like that. You know, you're going to hurt somebody, kill somebody, maybe kill yourself. So just don't drink and drive. Well, last year, 78 teens died in traffic crashes, and 23% of those deaths were from alcohol-related crashes.